Hey there, welcome to Dear Blocko. Today's question comes from Suplex Mamba, who asks, can eating spicy food actually kill you? Ah, yes, a great question. It reminds me of when I tried to get on Hot Ones. They said I wasn't real enough, but they had some duck named Donald on there though. Anyway, I realized I'm animated and can do practically whatever I want, so here we go. Welcome to Not Ones, where the knowledge is hotter than the wings. Our lawyers said that this was fine, to do, so get mad at them, okay? Let's start. Blocko, it's great to have you on. Thanks for having me, Legally Not Sean. This first sauce is Baby Devil Sneeze. So, Blocko, what makes food taste so spicy? Well, person who doesn't sound anything like Sean, spiciness isn't actually a taste, it's a pain response. Chili peppers contain a chemical called capsaicin, which binds to a receptor in your mouth called TRPV1. That receptor usually detects heat, so when capsaicin hits, your your brain thinks your mouth is burning, like it's on fire. That's why you start sweating, panting, and questioning every decision that led to this moment. Other ingredients trigger similar effects in different ways. Ginger contains gingerol, and cinnamon has cinnamaldehyde, both of which activate those same heat receptors. That's why they feel warm, even though there's no actual heat. But fun fact, wasabi and mustard are different. They contain allyl isothiocyanate, a compound that bypasses your tongue and targets your sinuses, which is why eating them might make your brain feel like it's bathing in lava. So why do people eat this stuff like it's candy then? This next sauce is called Fire-Loving Idiot Nuke Fart, by the way. Yikes. Um, anyway, some people are born with fewer T- <clears throat> Ooh. Um, uh, TRPV1 receptors, um, which means they, they literally feel less pain from spicy food. I am not one of those people. Uh, others build up a tolerance over time, basically through repeated suffering. And then, you've got your spice masochists. <clears throat> the ones who really enjoy the burn. Spicy food activates your sympathetic nervous system. Heart rate spikes, your nose runs, uh, it, you start sweating to cool down, and your brain rewards you with a blast of endorphins and dopamine. Basically, your body goes, whoa, you survived fake danger. So here's a little chemical high as a treat. Does anyone have uh, tissues or anything? This last sauce is insides are outside, toilet scream hell three, banned in Canada. Your question is, can the spicy actually kill someone? I think this might, I think this might kill me. Um, here we go. In rare ca- God, um, <clears throat> In rare cases, yes. Large amounts of concentrated capsaicin, like in pepper extracts or extreme sauces, can overwhelm your system. Uh, capsaicin doesn't just mess with your mouth, it can irritate your stomach lining, trigger intense vomiting, or even cause gastrointestinal bleeding. All bad. In some cases, the pain and stress overstimulate the vagus nerve, which helps regulate your heart rate and blood pressure. I, I think my head, I think my head is on fire. Is my head on fire? This can cause fainting, or in, a, in people with heart conditions, even lead to cardiac arrest. Seriously, is my head on fire? Can someone put out my head, please? Uh, people with asthma, allergies, heart disease are especially at risk. A strong allergic reaction could swell up the airways. A sudden stress spike could destabilize their heartbeat. <clears throat> there was even a guy who ate a Carolina Reaper in a chili eating contest and ended up in the ER with a thunderclap headache so intense, doctors thought he had brain trauma. He lived, but yeah, not a, not a great time. And yeah, yeah, okay, now I think my throat is closing up. Yeah, it's closing up. Triangle Bob, call the hospital. Hey, I'm back from the hospital. So do you like spicy food? What's the spiciest thing you've ever eaten? Did you cry, sweat, momentarily leave your body? Let me know in the comments below. Wanna watch even more Life Noggin? Click here to watch this video or here to watch this video YouTube thinks you'll like. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.